the government is taking seriously the implementation of 31 new national compulsory standards for electrical products, which becomes effective in February 2020. As a matter of fact, the government has signaled a stern warning to dealers and importers, noting that they will be dealt with by the full force of the law and have their products seized if they are not in compliance with the regulations. The new standards will ensure the delivery of better service and quality electrical products that meet international standards. During a press conference Friday at the Ministry of Public Infrastructure, Acting Deputy Executive Director for the Ghana National Bureau of Standards, Shailendra Rai, said the Bureau will be conducting inspections and monitoring of products on the market after implementation next year. The Bureau of Standards we will be conducting surveillance inspections at sale outlets to ensure compliance with the, the product. Products that are found to be defective or not in compliance will not be allowed entry into the country and those that are found at the sale outlet will be seized and removed by the Bureau of Standards. And this is something, as I said before, is not nothing new to the Bureau, it's something that we have been doing over a number of years now. Minister within the Ministry of Public Infrastructure, Jaipal Sharma, said before 2017, there was only one electrical standard in Guyana. This standard was for the decorative lights used around the Diwali and Christmas holidays. The minister said with these new standards, there will be a reduction of electrical fires and electrical shocks. Aside from the electrical standards for decorative lighting, there were currently no other electrical standards being enforced as a result of all sorts of inferior quality of electro-domestic appliances, electronic devices, and materials for use in electrical installation are allowed into our country to the detriment of Guyanese and to the wider extent of our economy. Fire hazard, death by electrocution, destruction of property, etc., are some of the most common outcomes of the lack of electrical standards and enforcement. Implementation of SEAM creating the imbalance in safety ecosystem in our country. Chief Inspector of the Government Electrical Inspectorate, Roland Barclay, said they will carry out inspections on buildings to ensure that the materials used to carry out electrical works are safe. A electrical contractor who is a person entitled to certify to do work on any type of installation, if found that they have installed, have done any work that puts anybody in danger or a property, there's penalties under the electricity technical standard regulation which will carry fine and jail term. This can be found in the technical standard regulation of Guyana. A published registered list of dealers and importers who are in compliance with the regulations will be posted on the Ghana National Bureau of Standards website. The regulations will be updated every three years. Reporting for Newsroom, it's Nello Patwo.